What's up guys? This is Rye123 here and today um, we're doing another tutorial. I know it's crazy. We're doing two tutorials in two days but um, I saw this yesterday and I really liked it and it's fairly simple so we're going to be doing it. Um, so first things first you're gonna wanna open up a world. I'm on this world just for fun. Um, but anyways, so we're going to be making kind of like a start menu or a loading screen. So the first thing you're going to need, of, like usual, is a screen GUI inside of a starter GUI. Put a, um, put a frame in there. I'm actually going to show you how to set the GUI up today because I know I don't do that a lot and I feel like I should do that sometimes change the second number in the brackets to zero and the first number to one so like this uh, we'll just shoot so if you remember from a lot of tutorials ago the second number is the offset and the first number is the scale we want to mess with the scale because it applies to all screens one being the whole screen and size and zero being none of it and then the decimals in between so here's our blank loading screen it covers the whole screen um, then inside of the frame you're going to want to put a text button which is right here and in this button you can change the where's the text oh I'm still on the frame for some reason and then on this you can change the text from button to like what the heck my mouse is wigging out to start or something of the sort and then you just position it to the middle I'm not gonna make it exactly in the middle and I'm not going to change the size sorry for the airplane but we'll just go 0.5 and 0.5 that's not the middle because of the way it's sized when you guys do this you're gonna wanna gosh my mouse is bugging out you guys are gonna wanna s size this with a scale instead of the offset and then you're gonna wanna do the math to get it in the middle but anyways here's our start button um, and this button's really easy all you have to do is just put a script in it And it'll say script or er, sorry function on clicked and then we'll say end and then we'll say script dot parent dot parent semicolon remove. I am really sorry for those bleeding planes. I hate them as much as you do probably parent sorry I'm just counting my parents I need one more because this will only get rid of the frame okay there we go then we need this thing that says script dot parent dot mouse button one down semicolon connect um, on clicked okay so now you can also place like a text label or something up above it that will why is what is wrong with my mouse that will say like welcome to my game blah 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 but this is just how you do it so now let's test the game um, for some reason this world takes a long time to load I probably shouldn't have done this one but anyway so you hit start and it goes away the problem with how we have it now though is that every time you reset your guy like that it's going to come back up so in order to fix that we're gonna want to kind of do the same thing we did with the welcome message giver thing so open up workspace put in a new script And you can call this whatever you want, like welcome. I'm gonna call mine welcome giver. 
Then take your GUI out of the starter GUI and put it inside the script. Oh, it's already open. Then we're going to create a variable that links to the script. I haven't typed these out in a while. <laughs> Usually I do it all off screen, but I think this will help. Script dot shoot, I don't remember what it was called. Um, there it is, screen GUI. I'm an idiot. I forgot to name it. We'll call it GUI, and I deleted the I. Okay. So now we're gonna need a function, and we'll just call it on player entered player. Then it will end, and then we need game dot players dot semicolon child. Is it? No, it's a dot. Sorry, dot child added semicolon connect, and then on player entered. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I found I was missing the equals sign because I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> anyways. So yeah, you're just going to say blah, blah, blah. Um, then you're going to do local new GUI equals GUI semicolon clone. And you're going to do the parentheses because that's a function. Um, then you're going to say new GUI dot parent equals player dot um, player GUI. Now it will only give the player the GUI when they enter the game and not every time they die which can be annoying sometimes when people don't know about that um, just to make this tutorial a little bit longer I probably shouldn't show you guys this because I hate it when people do this and just to show you this works we'll reset but um, I'm going to show you how to make it more of a loading screen instead of just a uh, see it doesn't show back up instead of just a uh, start menu so if you want like a fake loading screen because everybody knows their BS you Roblox loads everything on its own you don't need a loading GUI but just if you want to give it a little more like game feel so let's do a text label I hope this works I never use text labels because they never work and for some reason it's going outside of there so put it in the frame and we'll put it just above the we'll put it just above the if my mouse would decide to work we'll put it just above the button so let's do like for the X we'll do like 0.5 still but for the Y we'll do like point four and I accidentally deleted the comma there we go so now it's right there and we'll just change that to the text to loading dot 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 and then we'll do like zero percent because this will be with a number so that it will load with the number um Yeah, so then inside of the, where do we want to put this? Oh, make the text button invisible by coming into it and searching for the visible property and uncheck it. So now we can't see it. And then inside of the frame, we're going to put another script. Sorry if this is getting a little lengthy, but we're kind of killing two things here. And we're going to want three things no yes so first we're going to want the just a number so we'll just call it I and we're going to set that equal to zero then we're going to want the label equals script dot parent dot is it text label yeah shoot I hit slash instead of then we're going to want the button. That can't be capitalized. Just so you guys know, all the scripts are case sensitive with 
most the things um, I get some questions sometimes like why won't this work and it's just simply because the um, what am I trying to say guys it's just simply because the the case is wrong on the words so I'm trying to remember how to do this I haven't done a for loop for a while that should work I'm not a hundred percent sure and then we'll say label dot text equals loading dot 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 and then we'll say dot dot I dot dot and then we'll do a percent sign and then we'll say oh and then we have to say I equals I plus one I know you can do this in C sharp I don't know if you can do this in Lua but in C sharp you can just go I plus plus and that'll just add on to it but I don't know if you can do that here so we'll just keep it like this to keep it simple um, and then once it reaches a hundred it will come down here and we'll make the label dot visible equals false and then we'll make button dot visible did I spell that wrong? equals true and we can't forget to put a wait or else this won't work so we have to go like wait point and we'll do like oh one because if we do it without the weight it'll just do it real quick and it won't even matter um so let's go ahead and play let's wait for this game to load forever i should have picked a quicker loading game but as you can see it goes up it goes up and then it will let you start um, if you want to do that faster, just decrease the weight value. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Don't forget to put this back into our giver script. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.